What's up, Fusion fam? Thank you for tuning in to our first lesson video. Hopefully you've already seen our announcement video talking about what Fusion will be doing moving forward, as well as our very first vlog. So make sure you check out those videos, hit them with a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment on those videos. We would love to keep on interacting with you, even if we can't physically meet with you. And we also want to keep on talking about who God is, what he's done for us, and what he continues to do for us, even in this crazy post-COVID world. So before spring break, we talked a lot about the Bible and why we can trust it and use it to see what God wants for us in our lives. But we're actually gonna backtrack to a lesson that we did a couple months ago, actually, uh, and talk about something that I think a lot of us are going to need right now uh, and might be in short supply of, and that's peace. Obviously, there's not a lot of people who have great peace of mind right now. Thanks, Miss Rona. It can be really hard to just chill out right now, especially when we hear about all these infection rates, people dying around the world, uh, places closing down because of public safety. For a lot of you, you probably just wanted to enjoy your spring break and forget about the pressures of school for a while, go play outside. But your peace got interrupted. No one likes it when their peace is disturbed. It can be frustrating and stressful. But even if we look at a time before COVID-19, there were always times when things got out of our control that disturbed our sense of peace. Think about this question. Have you ever been somewhere that was super stressful or crazy chaotic and out of control? I remember the very first time that I rode a roller coaster and I wasn't even scared until everybody else around me started freaking out. Once everybody else started screaming, then I started panicking. Stop the ride! Stop the ride! We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. A lot of people search for peace, trying new ideas or search for things that bring temporary peace, but a true lasting sense of peace can only come from a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. It's peace through God that gives us joy and comfort even through the most difficult of times. The Bible tells us that through Jesus Christ, we can have peace with God. But Jesus also told his disciples, his closest followers, that difficulties and troubles would still happen to them. John 16, 33 says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Even though the disciples would face discouragement, they could still know joy knowing that Jesus, even though the disciples would face struggles and discouragement, they could still experience joy knowing that Jesus would always be with them. It can be weird for us to think that you could experience joy when you're also in a time of trouble, but in Jesus, we have peace. We're gonna go through six ways that we can come to peace. And the very first one and the most important one is that peace comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. This is number one because if we don't have peace with God, then how can we get the peace of God? Once we were enemies to God, but through Jesus who saved us, we were reconciled and we can be at peace with our Father in heaven. So number one is peace comes from Jesus Christ. And number two, is that peace comes from studying God's word. The Bible is filled with encouraging words and promises of God's goodness. Also, we know that God wants what's best for us. So studying his commandments and learning about his word can only help us lead more fulfilling, more helpful, and more peaceful lives. Number three, peace comes from rejoicing in the Lord. Even in difficult circumstances, we can still stay calm and choose to worship God for his goodness. And who knows, maybe somebody around you will see you rejoicing and they'll be encouraged to have a spirit of gladness and a peaceful heart as well. Number four, 
Peace comes when we do not worry. When we're struggling with the situation, it can be really hard not to focus on it all the time or spend all our time trying to fix it ourselves. But God's word is really clear. We need to cast our troubles onto God and not be anxious or worried about fixing these things ourselves. Number five, peace comes when we pray. When we bring our requests to God, we can do it with a spirit of thankfulness, knowing that God will work all things for our good. Number six, peace comes when we focus on doing things that honor God. When we think on things that are true, right, noble, pure, loving, and admirable, we please God. Even if you're trapped in the house, think of the nice things that you can do for your family and friends. Help your parents with the chores. Call your friend for a chat. Take your dog out for a walk. Provided that you're complying with social distancing. Helping others around us experience peace can be a great way to produce peace for ourselves. All in all, God has promised to be our peace. Even if he won't remove us from the situation that we're in, he'll still give us the calmness and the confidence that we need to trust in his control. God can give us joy and peace because he has complete victory over the entire world, life and death itself. And we have the amazing opportunity to know that peace if we trust in Jesus Christ as our savior. So that was it for our very first lesson video. Hopefully you took away a couple tips that you can use over the next couple of weeks. Everything is so uncertain right now. And I think that we need to be relying on God's peace more than ever. Stay tuned. We're going to have a vlog and a lesson video every Thursday for you. Uh, make sure you're commenting again. We would love to be talking with you in those comments below. And uh, make sure you're asking your parents if there's any other special videos that are coming up. Maybe we'll throw out a couple special streams here and there. Uh, maybe play some video games together. Who knows? In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay peaceful. All of us Fusion leaders miss you guys very, very much. Uh, and we hope to see you guys very, very soon. Peace out.